Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm just making an updated version of a, a tutorial I made a while ago, and it's basically just showing you, you know, how to get the most out of Sony Vegas. Um, you know, a lot of people recently have been saying, you know, the rendering times are slow, and you know, the preview uh, wags all over the place. So these are a few tips, uh, you know, how to get the most out of Sony Vegas. Uh, the first one is a little bit of common sense, really. It's just, you know, if you're doing editing. In Vegas, it's a pa uh, quite a powerful program. Then you know, make sure you shut down everything else on your computer, Messenger, uh, you know, the internet, uh, After Effects, whatever you do using. Just make sure you've just got Sony Vegas um, open. Uh, the second tip, um, you know, a few of you may know this, but some of the new newer people to Sony Vegas are saying that you know the preview over here, you know, is really slow and choppy. I mean, most people, unless you've got a powerful computer, can't watch it on best full. You have to watch it on, you know, good or preview. Uh, but this one, this this uh, little tip will really help you. If you go up to options and then go to preferences, and then go over here to the video tab, and uh, it's going to say something at the top here saying dynamic RAM preview max megabytes. And over to the right here, it'll tell you, you know, how much power um, is available for Sony Vegas to use for your dynamic RAM preview. Uh, basically that's the amount you know say you highlighted um, a part over here that you just wanted to watch back and make sure you know it was nice and in sync and stuff um, that's what the preview RAM would be so uh, for this tutorial I've turned mine down just to 2000 but when I'm you know editing and doing stuff in Vegas you know I'll, I'll pretty much give it as you know six to seven thousand megabytes so then it's got you know the full power and it allow me to watch stuff a lot clearer and faster so yeah, set it to the maximum you can if you edit in, and then just press OK. And the third tip is um, a tip which can be used for any program really. You know, if you're not that experienced on computers, you may not know this. You know, some of you probably will know this. Is press Control Alt Delete on your keyboard and go to Start Tab, and then it'll probably start on this tab over here called Applications. What you want to then do is go over to Processes, and then click this tab here where it says Memory. Um, so it basically brings the highest of your applications that's using the most memory to the top. At the moment it says mine's Firefox. Uh, but just below that is Vegas. So what you want to do is you want to click on right click on Vegas and go to set priority. And then you've got a few options here, normal, above normal, high on real, real time. Um, unless you've got you know a really powerful computer it won't run on real time. I run mine on high uh, but above normal will also help. So what you want to do is pick one of those, see which your computer works best on. So for now, I'll just click on high and go to. It'll come up with this little warning message, but just basically saying that if you dedicate, you know, high priority to Vegas, then a few of the other programs may run slow. Uh, but if we just edit in at that moment in time, then it doesn't matter. So click change priority. Um, this doing that, you know, can shave pretty much half the time off your rendering. Basically, it's giving full power, all your CPU cores and RAM to Sony Vegas. So, you know, it's good at the time when you're rendering, but obviously once you finish rendering and then you say, you, you know, you want to go on After Effects or, um, you know, just surf the internet, then you've got to remember to go back to that and just drop it back down to, um, you know, normal or below normal. So I definitely recommend, you know, doing those three things. And, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you've got any problems, you know, queries or whatever, uh, send me a message, leave a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up if you found this useful. And, um, yeah. Cheers guys, have a nice day.